If you watched the other two videos, you saw how easy it was to take it off, clean the pad sites, now we're ready to install it. What we'll be using again is like in the other videos that I've shown you on the connectors is an Alpha OM 5100 500 gram solder paste which is a no clean and it's made up of flux which is a no clean flux and tiny little solder balls. We're also going to be using a stencil down here, a squeegee, and a hot air pencil to do this process with and uh, tweezers that's all I need to do the job okay so let's get ready to start this show shall we okay first thing I want to do is undo my stencil from its courier and all I do is take the corner and peel it off just that simple okay now I've got to line it if you noticed on the stencil when I had it there showing you a second ago, it had three holes and you got some pad sites. This helps align it a little bit better. Just like so. Just press down on it. Now this is semi-permanent. In other words, it can stay there until you're ready to take it off. Or you can leave it on, off, it does not matter. Let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to fill the little holes and the pad sites with some solder paste. Now I don't want to do the big aperture holes, so you got to be very careful with that because these are your, these are your ground planes, so you got to be very careful as you're doing it over in that area. You can see how I'm doing it. Then I'm going to squeegee solder paste into these holes up here. These are where your connections are. These are your ground planes. So I'm just trying to be very careful and not get it where it's not supposed to be. And you want to make sure you get plenty in the ground plane area because remember that's your connection to your ground and it holds that connector into place also. Yep, I got some on that little pad side over there, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to take off. I'm pressing some down into the connector holes for your ground planes, just like that. Okay. That's all I have to do there. I got plenty of solder paste. Next thing I got to do is just very simple. Grab the outer edge, just like so, and peel that part of it off. Now, that part is done. Next thing I want to do is come in here with my squeegee and clean off that ground plane, just like that. Come over here and do this one, too. Get that solder paste off of there because again that's ground and that's where a screw will attach to so you got to make sure there's nothing anywhere where it's not supposed to be just like that now the next thing I want to do is I want to put my connector in make sure you got it the right direction flip it over just like so grab a hold of the end watch my pad sights and it fits right into the holes just right just like that okay you want to make sure it's all the way to the back nice and flush with everything then the next thing you're going to do and I'm going to zoom in I'm going to turn this a little bit like this so I can work with it a little bit easier but before I do that you got other parts in that area and so what I want to do is put on a heat shield and this is very easy to do I come down in here and I'm going to apply it right about in here where all these parts are so I don't reflow them also so it's going to come out of your screen for a few minutes so I can put this in place like I should what I'm doing is taping it down so it doesn't move but it also doesn't interfere with anything 
Okay, just like that. There I have it in place. I'm protecting everything. Next thing I want to do is to place it so you can see what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do a little bit of an angle like that. Grab my hot air gun. Let it start getting hot. Again, I'm going to be running it about 300 degrees Celsius. They get nice and hot here. It takes a few seconds to get it to that temperature, or a few minutes. So I want it to get there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start heating this up. Circular motion, bringing it in close. I've got to get that board nice and warm too, not just the solder paste, because it's got to make that connection, doesn't it? You can see I did the connector. The main part of it is still not reflowed all the way. Try, we're heating up that solder paste. You're seeing that start doing its job. Maybe I want to turn it around the other way so I can get at it easier. Right there, circular motion. What you're doing is activating it. You're heating up pad sites. You're heating up the uh, terminals on the component. Getting them into good reflow, just like that one. Come over here to this other side, do the same thing there. You're getting everything nice and hot. You have to or it will not work properly. Hesitate for a couple more seconds, then come off. Do not touch anything. Let it cool down. Because remember that is all into reflow right now. And if you move it too quick, guess what happens? You've got it. Okay, now let me remove the heat shield back off of it. And there we go. We've got our connector reflowed. Everything looks very, very nice. I got my ground planes reflowed on all four sides and all the solder fillets are reflowed. Even though you can't see it on the top, that is fine because it did reflow to make that connection all the way down through there. It doesn't have to come up and over the top, just as long as I make my connections down in here. And you can obviously see them. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this show, and thank you, and have a nice day. Intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic, intergalactic.